Hello everybody, Eminent Storm here, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron for the Kingdom of Greece. In the last episode, we pushed north out of the Caucasus Mountains and were able to take this city of Stalingrad and quite a bit more. Um, then we moved our army over up to the north and we helped the uh, Germans take Moscow. But still, the stubborn Soviets will not capitulate. Um, they are at 92%. So we need a couple more victory points. Now, probably the biggest victory point left is Vladivostok, but that's way too far away. Um, and it doesn't look like that the Japanese are anywhere near being able to take the city for us. So we're going to have to try something else. Now, we got a couple of things. We have... Yaroslavl here, which is um, five points, and we have Gorky over here, which is ten points. So that's the same point total as Vladivostok, and I think we can get both of those. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to order these guys, change of plans, push north to Yaroslavl. Like that. Execute. So that should be fine. And what I'm actually going to do is I, I tested this out and it should work. Is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to push these five paratrooper units out. Because they've got enough training to work. I'm going to load them on there, and then I'm going to order these guys to an airfield. One that I can actually put stuff in. Uh, where is there an airfield I can actually put things in? For some reason, I can't use this one. Uh, is there... Oh, I guess it'll have to be uh, over here. So you guys strategically redeploy here. Now what I need is my planes. It's only 93 fighters, but it should be sufficient to do what we need to do. Uh, where? There. And we need these guys to go into central Russia. Actually, no. We're not going to send them out there yet. Now, what I also need to do is I need to push my transport planes. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have any manpower. Okay, so I can't put any more squadrons out. Um, well, that's a problem. But here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go from service by requirement to all adults serve. Five, 10%. Yeah, all adults serve. That gets me some more troops. Um, but it does really impact my factory output. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to swing this back to service by requirement. It means that our manpower won't grow as fast, but we still got the pool of guys we just drafted. So we should be good there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push that out. And then we are going to wait for our paratroopers to get into position. And then I'm going to paradrop Orn to Gorky and take the city. And that should do it. Here we with no mission. Yeah, I know. Uh, we, got, we got planes in reserve. Close air supports, naval bombers. 
Oh, we've got lots of naval bombers in reserve. And carrier fighters and carrier bombers, okay. We only have one carrier out, and we have enough for another carrier, so... I don't think there's any reason to to increase our production of carrier fighters until we are building carriers at a rate that we can't put CAGs on them. Ooh, free military factories. What I'd actually like to do is start working on my medium tanks. Oh, which, speaking of medium tanks... Oh, these guys are almost done. What I'm going to do is we're going to say we're just going to build out those three. That's it. And then I am going to start training. Medium armor. I'm going to drop them over there. That should be right. Right, here's our guys. Alright, they are in position. Alright, so these guys get over Central Russia, tell them to do air superiority. And these guys, we want them to do a pair drop mission from here to Gorky, and we have just enough range. Execute. And boom, we've taken the city. And will that be enough? Not on its own. Uh, what are we at now? 96%! What I'd actually like to do is have one of you guys just walk this way. Oh, these, uh... These guys. Tighten your front up. Oh, no, 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 that's not what I want to do. Tighten your front up. Right now they have no supply, I don't think. No. And so they're losing organization very fast. And that is actually big trouble if I can't get Yaroslavl. Just everybody, pour into it. I think I may have done this too soon. Oh, medium tank destroyer. Medium tanks. Ooh. Hold on. Uh, let's do medium self-propelled guns and medium anti-aircraft. And let's make sure we get medium tank destroyers. Yep, yep I have no template, but that's okay. Come on, get the city, get the city! Was that enough? Was that enough? Hold on. 
Is there any other victory point we can get to? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Now, link up with my paratroopers before they're gone. Man, is there any victory point? I need to edit the my medium armor. We want to add in a medium tank destroyers. Oh, we sunk some convoys. Very good. You guys, restrict your front. Concentrate your attack. Our paratroopers are holding out valiantly, but they need relief. Oh, there it is, finally. Oh, okay. Well, that was closer than I would have liked, but we got it done. All right, so um, that is capitulation, but it is not the peace conference yet. So, I think we just need to step forward a little bit um, until we get to the peace conference. And there we go, there's the peace conference. Okay, so we've got a lot of work to do. Oh, it looks like Germany's already taken all of this. Okay, so that, that gives us some room to work. I would have liked some of this territory over here, but that's okay. Um, well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to work through this uh, peace conference. I'm going to pause the recording, take care of it, and then we'll go over how it went um, when we come back. All right, so... Okay, so we are back after the end of the peace conference, and we actually did pretty well for ourselves, though I think it's going to make things in the future a little bit interesting, especially once we go to war with the Axis forces. So, um, we got all the territory in the Caucasus, and I took pretty much all of this territory, so... We got a pretty big chunk of land. Now, Germany took the rest of northern Russia. Um, Japan took a lot of territory up here. That's not... You know, that's perfectly fine. The Japanese are dealing with a bit of a British invasion here. And a lot of British units over here that we are going to need to clean up. A little bit. So, the one thing is that we need to do is, um, you need to go up against the British Raj. These guys are completely cut off. We cannot allow them to link up with the British Raj. Um, because we need them to just wither and die out there. Um, and hopefully, um, the Japanese and the Chinese will be able to wipe those guys out. So, this entire army is taking attrition right now. I'm going to move them to the border with the British Raj and I'm going to tell them to prepare an attack 
Oh, we don't want to go all the way out there. Prepare an attack like that. Alright. I am I am pleased with this layout so far. Um I would have liked to have gotten a little bit more territory over here instead of maybe going all the way out to, to there. Um, but that just didn't play out that way, unfortunately. Alright, let me go ahead and just put out these military factories. I tried to grab as much territory that actually had resources and pre-built factories in it as I could. Um, so... We should be good there. Let's see, what do we actually need? Um, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to pour everything into infantry equipment. Actually, no, that is not what we wanted to do. I'm going to pour a lot of stuff into this infantry equipment, infantry equipment 3. Um, I'd like to fill out artillery. Uh, what are we woefully behind on? Well, infantry equipment. Support equipment needs some work. We'll fill in there, and that should do it. We still definitely need to get more military factories built, and we are working on that, but now we've got a lot more civilian factories, so we should be able to get a lot more built, and oh, we got a lot more dockyards. Okay, so we got not as many as I would have liked, but definitely more than we had before, and I want those in carrier production. Now... What are we short on? We're short on rubber. Everything else should be fine. So I should not be trading for anything. So I'm zero this out. Zero it out. Because so I should have gotten more than enough steel and tungsten. Because, I mean, if we look at this... We got 40 steel. Twenty-eight steel. Seventy-two steel. Forty-eight steel. Twenty more steel all the way over there. So Yep. Thirty-two steel, twelve steel. We got lots and lots of steel now. Yep. The only thing we're short on is rubber. And Japan appears to be trading it. Okay, let's see if we can request some rubber. All right, let's go ahead and unpause it. And actually, I'm going to slow it down um, as we work through things. Uh, we shouldn't have any more resistance. Oh, another free military factory. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to get rid of light tank 1s completely. And we're going to be doing only light tank 2s. There we go. We're still going to build light tanks. I might have to back that off a little bit. Unfulfilled import request. Japan. Ah, Japan. I need that rubber. I'll take whatever you can give me. How much more do we need? Man, why are we short 122 steel? What I might need to do is go over here and say... Uh, go ahead and limit my exports. Okay, so that means that we're now only short 35 steel. Okay. I guess I just needed a data to actually calculate all the resources out properly. Uh, that's not unusual. So let me go ahead and let's go and buy... Who do we want to buy? Let's buy... Let's buy the steel from Vichy, France. And 
we're short four rubber. Uh, Brazil. Can you give me the rubber? Rubber. There we go. Now we have all the resources we need, so we should be able to building things a lot faster. Alright, so these guys are all stranded now. I'm hoping... Yes. Yes, destroy these guys. Wipe them out. Alright, so these guys are pushing through this region pretty good. Sunk some British convoys. Alright, let's actually move these guys back down here. We have our fighters guarding here. And we're getting those fighters replaced, so that's good. going on here a couple of Japanese light cruisers are going up against a TCG Avus I like the Japanese cruisers chances in that one the TCG Avus is a World War one era pre dreadnought um, that used to be a German warship that in World War I managed to uh, escape the British fleet um, and it also managed to escape the British Mediterranean fleet and made it to Istanbul and then was transferred to Ottoman control um, for the duration of World War I and then they basically just let uh, uh, the Ottoman Empire have it and then when the Ottoman Empire became Turkey, or broke up and, you know, Turkey became Turkey, um, it retained possession of the ship. But the, the ship was basically obsolete in World War I. Okay, so I think we can get things moving here. Well, looks like uh, one of those cruisers got sunk. The TCG Yavu sunk it! Well then again, I'm not sure that matters in the mechanics of this game anyway. Because it's just a B Battle Cruiser 1 is what it's classified as. Western Mediterranean. We are raiding their convoys. That's what I like to see. Alright, you guys just go ahead and execute the battle plan as soon as you have arrived. These are Australian infantry divisions. Actually, no. Cancel the, the activation. Get into position first to recover your organization. Ooh, free dockyards. I'm going to put that into my battleships. Um, the civilian factories, dockyards uh, need to be repaired first. I want to keep these military factories building. Alright, so what the plan is going to be is to take out the British Raj. Um, and while we're taking out the British Raj, we're hopefully going to be able to get the fleet built up and the Air Force built up. Um, hopefully enough um, that we will be able to attack Great Britain. Well, we're, what I'm thinking we're going to do is we're going to launch an invasion in the Ireland first. 
pretty much follow the same game plan we had when we played as Japan. Is to invade Ireland first, conquer Ireland, and then jump across from Belfast um, into like Glasgow and, and up here. Uh, ooh, Battleship Twos. And then uh, push this way. Alright, so we want Carrier Twos. We have a bonus on that. Alright, so Battleships. Do is we're gonna do the same thing we've been doing. So we're gonna switch this to one, and then we're gonna set this up to grab the sh dockyards once they're done building that ship in 3.8 months. And we successfully sunk those convoys. They're still trying to do naval invasions there. I don't think they can because we're actually gaining control of the Mediterranean. Oh, medium self propelled anti air. It's not 1943 yet. I think one thing I need to do is I need to get some Marines. So let's do this. Uh, medium and self propelled anti air. Get that going. And then we want to edit the templates for medium tanks. To add in the medium self-propelled anti-air. There we go. And actually the medium self-propelled artillery should finish here in a moment as well. There it is. Um... Radar. I want to work on doctrines. Let's continue to work on doctrines. And then we need to do the same thing. We need to queue up the medium self propelled artillery. We need to start pouring um, military factories into that. This needs to come up to efficiency. I'm going to need to edit medium armor, and we're going to take two brigades of medium self-propelled artillery. There we go. All right, are these guys ready to launch their attack? Well, we are massively overloaded here. Oh, because the Germans brought in an enormous amount of troops. Yeah, go ahead and launch your attack. Oh, the Germans are just causing me trouble over here. Are they bringing their, like, entire army down here? Oh, and actually, yeah, we're, we're probably we're probably long on this. I, um, I kind of lost count with the with the cut in the recording, um, in between there. Now, one thing I did want to mention here that though we just defeated the the common turn, and that basically now leaves like Iran and Afghanistan and Saudi Arabia kind of hanging out there. I'm not going to attack them yet. And that's for a very specific reason because if we attack them when they're not aligned, um, they will immediately... Well, actually, except for Afghanistan. Hmm. Afghanistan is actually common turn. How about that? Eh, we could probably eat them, but I want to take down the um, British Raj first. Then we might swing in and, and destroy them. Um, actually, no. We're going to wait until after we leave the Axis again. For the same reason that we're not going to take out Iran and Saudi Arabia until after we leave the Axis. That's because if we attack them as a member of the Axis, they will immediately join the Allies. Which means that when I conquer Iran and Saudi Arabia, um, 
they will become occupied territory rather than annexed territory, which means I'll have to garrison it, which means I'll have to waste troops and manpower garrisoning this region. I don't want to do that. Second is that if they join the Allies, then that territory becomes part of the subsequent peace conference when we defeat the Allies, which means it then becomes up for grabs for the rest of the Axis to try to grab. So... I don't want that to happen either. I want to, you know, have exclusive rights to taking that territory um, when I conquer it. So we need to not be in a faction when that happens. So we got to wait till World War II ends and the Axis is at peace before we can leave the Axis faction. And then we can go around the map and gobble up all the territory we want. At least all the territory that's available anyway. And then, once we've gobbled up all of the non-aligned territory, we will basically beat the snot out of the Axis. Alright, so what we're going to do is go ahead, we're end the episode here, and then we will finish working on the Allies when we come back. Well, we'll continue our work on the Allies when we come back. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.